K-pop just turned really dark and we've got a lot to talk about. From Chris Wu's accuser being exposed for lying once again, and alleged rumors that Hype wanted to get rid of the competition by disbanding Newest. As you can see, the tea is hot, so let's spill some of it, shall we? The 2022 relationship that was exposed by Dispatch was pretty short-lived because they already announced their breakup. On January 2nd, Tiara's Hyomin was revealed to be dating football star Huang Uijol. Based on the report released by Dispatch, the two began dating in November of last year after being introduced to each other by an acquaintance. They started out as friends and began dating after some time. Their relationship was reportedly long distance since Huang Uijo lives in France and Hyomin lives in Korea. Even with these problems, their relationship had been going supposedly strong. Well, until now. While neither of them made any official statements, Hyomin basically confirmed the status of their relationship by announcing that they have split. She really hit two birds with one stone. On March 8th, Hyomin's managing agent came out with a statement confirming the end of the relationship. They shared, We'd like to share our position regarding the dating news that was reported in January. At that time, they were seeing each other with good feelings, but due to the pressure of the situation, they naturally grew apart and they have now decided to remain acquaintances who support each other. There was another reported reason for the breakup and it's nothing that you expected. According to some media reports, and take this with a grain of salt, it looks like the marriage of Hyomin's bandmates really affected the relationship. Right after Hyomin's dating rumors went public, the news of Tiara Soyeon's marriage to soccer player Cho Yumin and Tiara's Jiyeon to baseball player Huang Jaekyun became sort of a burden to Hyomin and that eventually led to their breakup. Whatever the reason for their breakup is, I wish Hyomin nothing but the best. Netizens are on Taehyung's neck again and I need them to leave her alone ASAP. One netizen went on pan and decided to act ridiculous by making a whole post about Taehyung. Not a good post though. They posted two pictures of Taehyung looking absolutely breathtaking and wrote, I get that Itzy's Taehyung wants to have a vibe, but she doesn't give off that vibe. This is the weirdest way of calling her ugly, especially when she's nothing but beautiful. Thankfully, netizens came to her defense as soon as the post was published. A netizen commented, I get that you want some sort of response, but turn off your internet and start living your life. Another responded, Why is everyone always like this towards Taehyung? She's pretty though. I'm so sick and tired of seeing netizens comment on idols' looks like they aren't real people with feelings and that they wouldn't be affected by seeing comments like these. They really need to get a life, and especially in this case when she was attacked for her looks so many times. Jaya's leader Dun Young was allegedly caught by the police on March 6 while drunk driving. The news of his arrest was first made public on a popular Korean YouTube channel, Karakula. The channel mostly posts videos and vlogs of car-related accidents by celebrities and non-celebrities from all over the country. In a video posted on March 7th, Karakula claimed that an unnamed individual, A, who happens to be the leader of a K-pop group, was reportedly caught drunk driving by the police in Gangnam Shinsa Dong neighborhood on the evening of March 6th. Along with the announcement, the channel shared a man's picture with his face blurred out. Karakula then stated that they were in the process of getting footage of the incident and would soon release it via a live broadcast. The initial announcement caused quite the fuss among K-pop stands, and I guess no one is really surprised why. Katakula released a YouTube live video titled Idol Group Leader A Caught for Drunk Driving. In the video, the earlier blurred out face of A was revealed, and it turned out to be Moon Jun Young, Jay's leader. Katakula can be heard saying, He smelled heavily of alcohol, so the Rolls Royce owner reported him to the police on suspicion of drunk driving. The report claimed that Jun Young's blood alcohol level was much higher than the accepted limit, and as a result, his license has allegedly been revoked. Jun Young apparently initially denied driving under the influence. He claimed that the car was being driven by someone else and he was in the passenger seat. However, things took a turn when the black box footage from the other car was retrieved. The report said, When the police reviewed the black box footage from the car of the person who reported Moon Jun Young, it was confirmed that he was driving. There's no official statement from the police or Jun Young himself on the case, but this is definitely a bad move on his part. These are serious accusations and drunk driving is a horrific act. We can just wait and see how he responds to what happened. Newest disbandment has come as a surprise to everyone, and there are already theories circling around the internet when it comes to the reasons why it actually happened. Let me say that these are only theories, not facts, so don't attack anyone in the comments. It turns out that Newest had no clue that they would have to disband. The members alluded to more group activities in 2022, including variety show filmings, and told fans to look forward to the group in 2022 because they already had pre-scheduled things as a group. All things were looking good. The members were holding concerts, newest 10th year anniversary was coming up, which the members seemed pretty excited for, and Pletus even bought out ads for the anniversary until April. So you can't blame fans for being surprised when the disbandment news came out, especially since they announced it just two weeks in advance. A fan wrote, To announce their disbandment with a two-week notice? It must have been something that they fought until the end because if they really wanted to disband, they would have done it with more notice so that we 
get a proper goodbye and closure for their 10-year career as newest. Which can definitely be the case, since Pletus isn't a company that can be trusted when it comes to shady stuff. I mean, as any other K-pop company. The newest member said that they would have a meeting with the company regarding their contract renewal, so it seems like something shady happened at the meeting. And well, fans of newest think that this definitely has something to do with Hive. If you remember, G-Friend also disbanded out of the blue and nobody expected it. Although, G-Friend were initially under Source Music, but Source Music was acquired by Hive. Shinbi, who was a member of G-Friend, said that the members didn't know that the disbandment would be happening. Both groups were around for a long time and wanted to stay together for many more years, but clearly something on the company's end forced them apart. So what if Hype really has been making these groups disband? While they weren't pulling the same numbers as BTS, they were definitely successful in bringing enough money to the company to not warrant disbandment. What really happened behind the scenes? Is Hype getting rid of BTS's competition by acquiring companies and disbanding groups that could threaten their own newly formed bands? I guess we'll never know, but this is definitely very suspicious, and I wouldn't be surprised if there's some truth to it. At the end of the day, K-pop is a business like any other music industry in the world. The plot of Chris Wu's case is getting thicker and thicker. If you haven't been updated lately, Chris's accuser has allegedly made the whole thing up. Two of Du Meiju's closest friends who helped her expose Chris Wu's crimes last year did a live broadcast in which they claimed Du Meiju had lied about all her accusations. They said that Du Meiju was paid off by a company and she threatened Chris by holding the allegations over his head and demanded money from him so she wouldn't expose him. And now we have another update. Lee En, one of Du Meiju's friends, released another voice recording on her stream in which Du Meiju can be heard admitting that she didn't have any concrete evidence to support her accusations and was simply trying to scare Chris so that she could get something useful. In response to this, Thu Meiju went live on Douyin and said that all the rumors about her were false. She said, People who have done wrong things have to bear the consequences. I have no reason to forgive anyone. She also said that it would be better if her so-called friends went to the police with the recordings instead of posting them online. I don't know what to think about this case anymore, but I just hope that the truth comes out quickly. The accusations were pretty serious, so the case shouldn't be dragged out for as long as it has. Some people are also pointing out that even though Chris was arrested, China wasn't super clear about what they were arresting him for. I mean, yes, all of us know that he was arrested because of the accusations, but the point was that there was supposedly enough evidence to arrest him. And now when Du Meiju is being exposed for lying, people are questioning whether there was truly any evidence in the first place. Song Jia is finally back, and she really knows how to make a comeback. Ever since Jia apologized for her scandal back in January, there haven't been any signs of her. It's like she disappeared and nobody knew where she was. Now, almost two months later after the scandal, there is finally some good news. Jia donated around 20 million won to the victims of the forest fire in the Gangwon-do and gyeongsang bok do areas. While many celebrities are donating to the recent forest fires, Jia has become one of the first influencers to contribute so generously to the cause and rushed in support of the affected communities. Netizens praised her for thinking of others when she must be having a hard time herself. One netizen wrote, She did a good thing. She's having a hard time herself, so it's even harder to help others like that. It's even more admirable that she wasn't the one to announce the donation. What are your thoughts on everything I talked about. Share them in the comments and thank you so much for watching. Bye!